What's wrong? Don't bother me right now. I'm trying to focus. Is there anything I can do to help you? So our professor asked us to submit our assignment on the ATL and I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Uh, I don't have much time left for this assignment. Relax. Let's see. I can help you with this. <sighs> okay. First, you should go over to my SNU website. Okay. If you're more familiar with English than Korean, then you can just click on the English button. Done. Okay, uh, now what's next? Um, do you see the ETL menu up there? Um, oh yes, I found it. Click it once and you'll be redirected to the ETL website. Okay. Oh, everything's in Korean. You could go over to settings and on the account section, you can apply your preferred settings. Mm, to be honest, I prefer English more as my Korean is not that fluent yet. Um, yeah, then you can just change language to English. Oh, perfect. Um, then what should I click here? Try going over to the go to course button. Do you see that? You may mm -hmm. take a look at the other buttons, but I guess we need to submit your assignments right now. Yes, indeed. I will check the other options later when I have time. Mm, yeah. So this is the dashboard where all important information related to your courses can be found. In the middle of the screen, you can find the courses you are taking this semester. Mm, I guess this is the class announcement? Um, well, this is the home of your course to be precise, but yes, you can find the recent announcements here, together with the assignments notifications down there. So, can I just click the assignment notification? Yeah, you can click the assignment notifications on the home page and choose the assignment. Or you may also try clicking the assignments tab on the left. Okay. Uh, next, choose the assignment that you have to submit. Then on the right top, you will see a blue screen, like a blue colored button with submit assignment written on it. Okay, um, now I guess I need to click the choose file button here, right? Yes. Click that button and find your assignment file. If you already have opened the file through Explorer, then you may uh, just drag the file. Both ways are fine. It doesn't really matter, but don't forget to put a check mark on that statement below. Mm, this assignment submission is my own original work. Well, I did my assignment by myself and there should be no problem. Yeah, of course. Lastly, click the submit assignment button and you can see that you submitted on the right side of the screen. It means you have submitted it successfully. <sighs> yeah, it's done. Thanks to you, I have submitted my assignment right in time. Yeah, as I told you earlier, it's not really a big deal, you see. While we're at it, let's see some other features of ETL. Okay. Let's look at the Announcements tab first. You can also find the Announcements on the Home tab, but here you may find some other like old announcements made just in case if you need to recheck those. I see. Um, now I'm sure I won't miss any assignments like the way I did a couple weeks ago. For sure. And the syllabus tab is connected to the course registration website where you can find the updated syllabus and everything related to the course information. Oh, that's so nice. Now I don't need to access the course registration website only for checking the syllabus. Yeah. Uh, next. The People tab allows you to check people who attend the same course as you, including the professor and the teaching assistants. You may need this information just in case you want to send a message or just to know who they are. Um, how about the Modules tab? Um, it is where you can find the course materials. Moreover, if your professor asks you to join a Zoom class, then you can probably find that link here on the module section. Lastly, if you want to watch a lecture video to claim your attendance, you just gotta watch the video through the module section during the designated period. Oh, I see. Mm, the weekly learning tab, why does it look familiar or similar to the modules tab? Yes, somehow they are similar, but here you may see more details during the duration of lecture video attendance policy and even details of the zoom meeting probably if you need to check either the modules tab or the weekly learning tab quite often yes i realize that i have to familiarize myself with the two tabs 
In case the professor uploads a quiz or a survey, you should be able to find it on the quizzes tab. Just click on it and submit your answer to the questions. The grades tab contains all information related to your grading for the course, the particular course. You may even check your grade together with the courses, uh, the grading policy of that, uh, that course. So what about the files tab here? I mean, I can download the course materials through the modules tab. Yeah, you got that right. But here you may find all the uploaded files in one place. It's just more convenient. Next, the lecture or the attendance tab. It collects all your attendance information, which is quite useful if your professor takes Zoom attendance. Then, what about the function of the last tab, the board tab here? Um, it's mainly divided into two parts, the Q&A board and announcement board. However, as a student, you are only allowed to write on the Q&A board. If you have questions regarding the course, try writing your uh, questions here and you may choose to post it publicly or privately if you prefer. The calendar tab shows you all the important dates which include your assignments, deadlines, and Zoom meeting schedules. Try clicking the date and you may check all the details related to the assignment or Zoom meeting. If someone sends you a message, then you may find the message received on the inbox tab. Okay, I think I need to try sending a message to understand this function well. Yeah, try doing that. Lastly, you should check settings on the account to make sure that you have uh, your preferred settings. Okay. Honestly, I appreciate your help and thank you for your explanation. It's my pleasure. My senior used to help me, so I guess it's my turn to help you now. Let me know if you need something else. Thanks. I will treat you a coffee, okay?